Good morning, YouTubers. So one of my used car dealers picked up two Nissan uh, Sentras, and what's weird is another used car dealer, um, Majestic next door, picked up one too, and they all purchased these from a wholesaler or an auction. So there must be people trading in their Nissan Sentras, some in worse shape than others, but let me take you through this. So this was towed here um, with a no start, no crank. Uh, with a good battery and we went ahead to replace the starter and surprisingly the engine started excuse me and this is a I love how they just bury that in there right so 14 so the engine when we started it vibrated so bad it was horrible um, and that didn't just happen overnight and we wound up replacing the right engine mount which is the source of that vibration now, if one engine mount goes bad, typically it does wear on other mounts, and sometimes you can just get away with one, but once this one goes, then this one starts putting wear on the other mounts or transmission mounts or torque mounts. Um, the uh, water outlet um, is damp in here, so we're gonna replace that. And, and a lot of the stuff today is plastic. It's, you know, you touch it and it, it crumbles in your hands after 10 years or five years or whatever the case may be. Um, what else was wrong with this car? Starter, engine mount, water outlet, and oil change. Really not a whole lot of recon work on this car versus the other Nissan Sentra that I took you through. The engine light was on, the uh, ABS light was on, the tires, three tires were bad, the uh, exhaust was leaking, um, and that had 65,000 miles on it, and this has 100 and that's the oil sticker. So 152, so 3,000 less than that, 149,000 miles. So somebody was taking care of this car. Um, as this car also has a new AC compressor, which is not uncommon. But a 65,000 mile Nissan Sentra with tons of abuse and, and no repairs and maintenance. And then here you go, 150,000 mile Nissan Sentra um, that needed minimal recon work to put this back out on the street for a good used vehicle. Um, I think the upper torque mount's missing on this. I'm going to bet you it is. I didn't realize that. I'm going to have to uh, look a little further into it, but I believe the upper torque mount is missing um, because my guys did not take it off. I'm just curious uh, where that, that went. Um, I'm pretty positive it's missing. I'm wondering if the upper torque mount broke. Uh, or was so bad, somebody took it out a, a long time ago, 150,000 mile far. But I, I'm, I'm pretty positive the upper, upper torque mount's missing. Uh, let's go take a look. Yeah, I'm, I'm completely uh, baffled by that. 14 Nissan Sentra. We're going to go to uh, engine mount. Engine mount. And then we're going to go to removal and installation, of course. So let's go to explode it view first. No. Let's go here. What? That's ECM. I didn't ever said ECM. We said engine mount. Engine mount. I don't drink coffee, so let's get our shot together here. I swear I clicked on this. Aha, so it does have a torque strut. Ain't that some crap, was that all? I'm looking for an image. Yep, there it is. So, ha, somebody, and I'm not sure who or when, eliminated that. Oh, some models, oh, how about that? 2014, no upper rods. I will tell you that this gives the engine a lot more stability. So I just learned something here. Some of these vehicles, 
13 models has an upper torque rod. 2014 has no upper torque rod. So here's what they do with this. Sometimes they want more things to fail and how they save millions of dollars. Well, hey, just like um, transmission dipstick fill tubes. They uh, eliminate the tube, the stick and everything else or they have a tube with just a cap on it and force you to figure out how to do it. And if you can't, you may screw it up costing yourself more money or you have to take it in for service and then pay $175 just for them to look at it plus to tell you what's wrong plus repairs and maintenance so you get it they save millions and billions on the build of the car and then they they come up with ways on how they can save millions and billions and then they come up with ways on to get you back in the service department to re to double the millions and billions so yeah so it's this model here because it doesn't look like there was any wear marks in it um so this model came without it. I will tell you, it's a good option if you're using this for Uber, Lyft, or whatever it is, you know, um, under heavy abuse conditions to keep this engine more stable. Yep. Keep this engine more stable from tearing up multiple pieces of your car. I mean, they eliminated a piece that I found, I think, that had value um, and stability for the engine. Trippy, right? I learned something today. It's always good to learn something. Thanks for watching. Stay with us. Hit the like and subscribe button. I'm really trying to grow this channel uh, quickly. I'm trying to get to 10,000. We just we just uh, passed the 6,000 mark and help me get, reach my goals. And I'll help you uh, save money on auto repairs and give you tics, uh, tips and tricks. Thanks for watching.